Hey you guys, today I just want to make a quick video and show you how to connect your longer laser engraver to Lightburn. Now, it just so happened right here, I have the longer B1 30 watt laser that I just finished putting together and I am going to review this in the future. But the steps I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to do it for the longer Ray 5 10 watt because that's the one I had previously and uh, well, I still have it, but now I'll be using this one. And I put it together, like I said, I'm just about to connect it to Lightburn and I figure I will show you how you will do that. So I open up Lightburn. Uh, now I need to turn on my laser. First, I have to turn the key, make sure it's on. Make sure it's not stuck from here. And I'll be turning it on. Now when I turn this on, it will make some noise because the air assist is on, so it's gonna make some noise. But uh, I will be screen recording my computer and show you exactly what buttons I push and what kind of number I plug in. So let's do that right now. I apologize, it is going to be pretty noisy once I turn the laser on, but I hope you'll be able to hear me and I'll try to, as much as possible, edit it and post so I'll make the sound more clear. So I'm going to turn on my laser. This is going to be loud. I don't know how to show you without having the laser on. So hopefully I'll be able to edit that as much as I can. Maybe if I get further away from the laser, I don't know how long this cable will let me go. All right, so the way you would connect your uh, uh, longer laser engraver to light burn, you have to go over here where it says devices. I'm just gonna go to create manually to add this uh, 30 watt laser. Now in this window over here, you have to choose this GRBL. So we choose that one, then we go to next. And then here you keep it on the serial USB, click to next. And here you get to name yours. I'm just gonna name mine longer 30 watts. All right, and then you need to put your X and Y axis. If you are using the longer 10 watt, a uh, laser that is 400 millimeter by 400 millimeter, and that's what you will plug into here. This 30 watt one has 450 millimeter by 440. So a little bit bigger workspace. And then we will click next. And then what is your origin of your laser? It is the bottom left. So leave that one the way it's clicked on the bottom left. Now I would leave click the auto home when the laser uh, starts. If you have the longer 10 watt, I would suggest you do not click that one and leave it unchecked. And click next. And then everything is looking good here. Just click finish. And now I will say, okay. Now over here into light burn, you see I'm still connected to my 10 watts. So I have to click on this uh, window and choose my 30 watts. And then make sure you're not onto the Bluetooth because I'm not using Bluetooth. And I don't know if you see that my laser, let me just point it to it, is calling right now. And that means we are connected to light burn now. And now we can go into our setting and personalize this and make it work the way we want it. And uh, that's what my next video is going to be. I'm going to show you how to accurately frame your work. 